the men going their own way, MGTOW movement is an offshoot of the men's rights movement, consisting of a weird type of straight male separatism. Basically, MGTOWers buy into the same rhetoric MRAs spread, that society is actually biased against men, not women, etc. But instead of doing something about it, what MRAs mistakenly imagine themselves to be doing, MGTOWers have decided to stay away from women altogether, or, since that is hard, not entering romantic relationships with women, hence, going their own way. In other words, it's a hilarious analog to the lesbian separatism movement. It's unclear if the movement has any power beyond disgruntled douchebags talking shit about women in general on the internet. As a general rule, the reaction of sane people is, sure, to go your own way and stop whining already. The going their own way part is often framed not just as self-preservation, but as some kind of strike that is supposed to punish women. Apparently in the worldview of some, if not most MGTOWers, women are some kind of Zakubai-like creatures, seducing men with their feminine wiles in order to exploit them and unable to live and support themselves without men to exploit. It's worth mentioning that there's a strong whiff of literal misogyny wafting around many in the movement. There are amusing parallels here with the notion of going galt that is popular among wingnuts who overestimate their importance in the grand scheme of things. At last. Please, come, sit. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Is MGTOW meaningless if we can't hold on to the basic concepts that the pair bonding relationship, on uh, whether it's biological or financial, is always based in exploitation of males, whether it's exploiting our sex drives or our desire for female validation? And if we can't appreciate the realities of how men become MGTOWs, they've got to awaken first. If we can't appreciate that, and we're busy trying to drag them in before they're ready to be members, then we are pretty fucking useless. We have completely warped the point of what we were supposed to be doing, which is providing information for men who are seeking it. We can't just go up to the average man and expect him to absorb our information. Just thinking of the men I've known from high school, one of them 
the last time I saw him was falling into quite a depression because his girlfriend uh, cheated on him quite regularly when uh, they were in a relationship. I know one man who's married who understands that divorce is a complete fucking bullshit scenario for men. One man who's not married but his girlfriend got accidentally pregnant. And I've got one who is now trying to do the foreign bride situation. None of them are ready and willing to accept the information. They're not ready to wake up. They're just trying to find other ways, alternative ways, to keep the same illusion. And I suspect these men on strike have brought in this new concept of let's bring in as many men as possible, thinking numbers equals strength without even realizing the realities of how men wind up, particularly in MGTOW, but in the Manosphere in general, is that it's an awakening. The Matrix reference is a really good reference, not just for the fact of the red pill analogy, but for the fact that something that isn't spoken of, or hasn't been spoken of yet, is the acknowledgement of the character of Neo. At the beginning of the first movie, when he's introduced to us, what do we see? He is actually in the process of searching out Morpheus. He's looking for answers. He knows something's wrong, and he wants to understand how it's wrong, and how he can adapt to that reality. He was prepared to take the red pill. He wasn't just some guy on the street, and Morpheus went up and goes, Do you want to know what reality is? Here, swallow this. It'll blow your fucking mind. <laughs> 